for Miss Madison's class, class, you're going to be completing math problems and explaining your steps and procedure along the way using the Explain Everything app. So you'll open the Explain Everything app and up in the upper right hand corner there's a wheel. You want to push the wheel, hit the Accounts button, and then sign yourself or turn off and on the Google Drive switch so that you can log out of any Google Drive account that's already there. It'll ask you to log in so you can log in to your Google Drive account. Then you go back and in the upper left hand corner you'll hit the plus sign. And from here, this is where you're going to be solving the math problem. So the button that you're going to use is this plus with the box around it. And that's going to allow you to insert the math problem that Mrs. Madison has saved into the Google folder. So because you have linked your Google Drive account to this iPad to explain everything, you'll hit the plus button, you'll hit file, and then down at the bottom, you'll choose the Google Drive icon at the bottom. From there, you'll pick your B block on HPA folder or whatever block you're in, and you'll choose the problem that you want to create. So there's a sample problem in here that I'm going to use just to show you how you're going to do it. So I'm going to load my problem in right here, and I'm going to start planning out how I'm going to solve the problem. Once I'm ready to start looking at how to attack it, I'm going to hit the record button at the bottom, so the red circle hit record, now it's recording. Uh, I'm going to use the pen, change the color, and I'm going to start my whole process of what I'm going to say in my recording. So I see two shapes, I see the trapezoid right here, and I see the triangle right here, and I'm going to need to do the area of the trapezoid plus the area of the tri and so on and so forth, and you'll solve the whole problem. So if you need to go on to another page because you run out of room on this page, you can stop the recording and then you can hit the plus button on the bottom left to get some clean paper. And whether you want to then insert the picture again so you can keep working from where you left off or whether you don't, that's up to you. However, then you'll hit the record button again if you need more room and ultimately you hit the pin again Here's your solution. So let's say I've done the whole problem. This is not going to take a short period of time because you're having to explain out everything as you're doing it. You don't have to be perfect. You're going to make mistakes along the way as you're recording it. You can mark through it, of course. So if you accidentally are doing a multiplication problem and you realize you write it wrong, you can just mark through or use the eraser and erase as you're going. So once you're done, you stop the recording and you have this total recording. So on this slide, it's 33 seconds. On the first slide, it's 37 seconds. Now, when you're done recording your thoughts for each problem, you're then going to choose in the bottom right hand corner, the plus facing out. Um, let me see, best way to describe that. It's actually this button. This is basically sending your movie somewhere else. So you see the play button and then the arrow pointing out. So I'm gonna push that. And that's going to allow me to export it and I'm going to hit more and then I'm going to choose Google Drive and I'm going to upload it back into my B block honors pre-algebra uh, B block honors pre-algebra folder because that's sitting right here. Then you'll hit the export button. You want to use your last name. So Compagna Lesson 61. Okay. And then it'll start uploading. Depending on the length of the movie that you're uploading, it's going to take a different amount of time. Uh, also, how, depending on how fast your Wi-Fi connection is. So you don't want to wait till there's two minutes left in class to do all of your uploading because it won't finish in two minutes more than likely. Especially if you're starting to get up to four to five minute videos. That's going to take five or six minutes to upload. So make sure you leave yourself some time at the end to process your um to process your movie into Google Drive. Then it's already going to be in that shared folder in Google Drive. So Ms. Madison can watch it or other people can come in and watch your thought process for the problem. Uh, so make sure that uh, you're ready to go in final draft form before you upload it to the Google Drive folder. And from there you could start another one once this one's done or finish and move on to whatever is next. So you see there's the process of compressing and now it's uploading to Google Drive and that would be it.